Every guitar player loves the joy of a fresh set of strings on the guitar, and the concept of the excess string is to be able to provide that for a longer time for the musician, and it's that tone of a fresh string staying with you for a longer time that's been our goal. We had to make an extremely thin film coating so that it did not dampen the acoustic performance of the string. And it wasn't easy to do, but I think we've accomplished that. This is Alex Skolnick. I am a full-time guitarist. I play many different types of music, jazz, jazz rock, with such artists as Stu Hamm and Percy Jones. And I play heavy metal, and I'm perhaps best known for a band called Testament. So as we speak, it's the day after I had a show at the Iridium in New York City, one of my favorite places to play, and I was able to put a set of excess strings on one of my guitars just in time. I have to say, I don't always notice a difference on a type of string, but I really noticed it. It gave a lot of brightness and really brought out the sound of this particular guitar. I felt like the excess strings had an ease of playing, even more so than the NYXLs, which are great, and they have a lot of ease. I thought it might have been easy to overplay, so I had to watch myself. So over decades and decades, our family's been striving to innovate in strings, and sometimes they're incremental innovations, and sometimes they're major ones. In the 30s, my dad was the first to really adopt hex cores for strings he was making for John D'Angelico and for Martin, believe it or not. And those string specifications that he developed back then, in a lot of ways, are still in our recipes today. So we incrementally improved along the way. And one of the major things that I'm proud of of our company is the fact that we've created a wire mill that manufactures the best high carbon steel for music string wiring on the planet. This laboratory we're in today is kind of curiosity central. You know, we're curious folks here and we're always trying to learn new things. And we set about five years ago or six years ago, we started to develop this product, and the goal was to make the longest lasting, best coated string out there. And we were able to do that by learning more technologies and incrementally incorporating them into the process. So we developed this machine that simulates the picking process, and we always put competitor strings on there as well to compare them, and we run them for anywhere from seven to 10,000 strokes and it could be a couple of hours, which really simulates quite a bit of playing. And then we test it again to see if the tone has deteriorated after a lot of play. The acoustic testing machine actually tells us whether or not the string has all the harmonic properties that you are looking for. And in this case, you're looking for similar properties to an uncoated electric or acoustic guitar string. Another tool that's essential in a laboratory that is at a factory making wire or strings is being able to test the tensile strength of the materials. We have to test to see if our string is still gonna be strong enough and also doesn't elongate and stretch and go out of tune, right? So this machine tells us exactly what we got in the string or the wire that we're testing. I play a wide variety of styles and need strings that work for those different styles. I tend to bend out of tune, even if the strings are really stretched. And I really did not have to tune very much. I think the excess strings have more of a responsiveness with harmonics, but I find with these strings, even those tough to reach harmonics really come out. As far as differences between the excess and other types of strings, I feel like there's less noise. Now, I'm not sure if this was the particular setup I had, 
what felt like I wasn't wrestling as much with squeaks and certain other challenges that come up. I would recommend the excess to other guitar players because I think they really bring out the feel and the sound of the guitar. It just enhances whatever qualities you like about the guitar. And there's also just this responsiveness that you don't get with other strings. And they seem to last long and feel like new strings, even when they're not brand new. There's nothing like the pleasure of hearing a crisp, bright, new set of strings on your guitar. Unfortunately, that doesn't always last for a long time, depending on your body chemistry, how much you play. So we at the Dario feel that coded technologies is going to be the future of strings. And we've invested heavily in developing what we think is the premier process and platform in our excess strings. And we're really pleased to be introducing the electric version of those strings right now. So go to your local guitar center and pick up a set. We know you're gonna love them.